so we're watching the clip. We're watching a clip of, of something that happened here. <laughs> how how meta is that? That is meta. That is meta AF. That's good. I mean, when when I heard that, I was like, wait a minute, that's not the clip. That's from the that's from yeah. the other room. <laughs> yeah. It all started with a video game. Oh god no! Oh! I'm running! I'm running! I'm sprinting! I'm sprinting! During the 2020 pandemic lockdown, I invited my buddy T to join me in Phasmophobia. And it was the lockdown diversion I needed. But as we were easing out of the pandemic, I got a phone call from Phil asking me, How would you like to do this for real? And now, here we are. Just two dads living their best life while investigating the afterlife. And welcome back to part two of OSI's visit, or visits, I should say visits, yeah. to Linville Manor with our special guest, Wynn. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to leave it That's like that because that, that is the magic, baby. Yeah. <laughs> that is the magic of Linville Manor right there. <laughs> yep. So where do we go from here? Uh, where do we go from here? That's an that's a, a existential question I'm not prepared to answer. <laughs> Every time we have come here, it has always been active. It's active right now. Yeah. We've got we've got unseen friends watching us and giving us criticism uh, as we go. Thank you, Gladys. Um, <laughs> or depending on how she party, thank you, Gladys. And you know, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You're asking to be levitated across the room. <laughs> Does anybody have stuck. Kate Bush on on yeah. uh, on, on, <laughs> on, on, on so. autoplay? I hope so. You, but you I might need to learn a lesson. That's true. <laughs> that's true. We love you, Gladys. We do love you. But I do want to also say. This place does not let up, not even in the morning. Now, we got a couple of clips from our first visit, and it was Monday morning, okay? Mm -hmm. And we are, we are, we, we, like, we, we are done. I mean, we had gone to what, 2 a.m.? No, about 4 30, almost 5 a.m. And we were pretty I'm not sure you were entirely you. conscious. No, yeah, well, no, say. no. I went through the clips. I could just hear, I could hear Bren getting a little prickly. I could hear you getting even more flighty. I could hear me going, yeah, can I your mama in the banana patch? I mean, I, we were all <laughs> over. We were all over the yeah. road. We get up Monday morning and we got everything packed away and we're like, we're not going to eat in the convenience when Donuts, we get, get out coffee, of here. Donuts, we'll be out of here. Then this happens. This reminds me of a poisoning story. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 So, according to old man, there used to be a really big pile of stuff that they used to put in the back of the fridges and they would put it in the I still remember that morning. We're yeah, all yeah. like, damn, damn, right. yeah, we're all like grabbing yeah. gear and just <laughs> putting it out on the table. And here's the funny bit: somebody, of course, as they want to do on on the social medias, uh, on the tickety talks, and on the tubes of you, they're like, oh, the reason why you're getting that hit is because your phone is too close to the K2. That's what's making it go off. 
Did I even have my phone? No. No. I in, fact, um, in fact, to <laughs> illustrate, I think I lost no, it that morning. That's why, because yeah. like I see a lot of guests, and right. I, I even know at this point to say like, uh, hold your phone away because yeah. it's gonna. So mm-hmm. if that had been the case, I one wouldn't have gotten excited with your group. <laughs> yes. And two, yeah. I'd have been like, well, and in your professionals, you would have been like, oh, it was the phone. Yeah. Like you always mm-hmm. call out. You're like, that was me. That yeah. Was, right. Well, so, here's the other. But here's the, in the second yeah. clip, you see exactly how close, or you see where the phone, the closest phone is to the K2 meter. One of the women wakes up and she sees something at the foot of the bed and uh, she for a while just tries to push it off but it was so terrifying that yeah. yeah watch Bren. Does, I love this. That she could this not like this is, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah it's really uh, loving the story. Wow. So she was so scared by it that she decided to wake up for Bren. Very subtle was filming as well. So, oh, disturb. Uh, Logan disturb. and I were there in the conservatory. <laughs> like a pro. I, mm. I experienced a visualization <laughs> of a man, a figure with blackened out eyes. I want to say I appreciate your group so much because that interaction was actually the first time that I realized that when guests come to me and they say like, you know, we don't know, we're not having like as much an interactivity. I was like, that's because you're the, the typical like, tell us your name. Mm-hmm. Who is this? And it really like it's a lot more responsive when you're telling about your lives and right. just sharing because i think we were talking about some of your writing projects yeah, yeah and that's we were, actually yeah. when it started yeah. and then we were right. like oh like we think they're around so we went into their stories and then everything started right. coming together and i would also say too you can go I mean, we, we, at the time of this filming um we actually experienced something that we've never experienced before when we come to linville manor it is a consistent there's a consistent source of welcome and I'm feeling and it. Right I just, now. I'm feeling it yeah. right now because right now there's a cold draft right here. Yeah, right I had now. one pass through me earlier. Yeah, and then yeah. Uh, okay, and then my wife, who's off camera, just indicated that she is be, has been being. Which touched means on I think that, that joke I made about Gladys. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 If I pissed you off, Gladys, come on. I you know I love you. But here's the, here's like, and I just got colder. So hopefully, have Gladys, a drink. <laughs> have, just, have a drink, Gladys. Gladys have a drink. But what I was going to say was that I I truly believe that when kindred spirits came here they're going to get entirely different evidence Mm -hmm. from what we get when we first came here in April than from what we get when we came here in August. Because at the time of this filming, we went back to the candy factory of Manassas, and there was a very different vibe. Oh, yeah, on Friday night. Yeah, on Friday night. It was completely different. And so, you know, when people are trying to... I I get it that it's it's a thing to debunk other investigators, but my... My first thing would be okay. One, you better be sure. Yeah, before you uh, before you, before you before do you that. be flexing before you be flexing. <laughs> and, and, and because secondly, we can step up and go. Oh, you thought our phone was too close to the EMF reader? Point A. You know, yeah, and, yeah. and and we've got that. But but the other thing too is again, it goes back to intent. Our intent is to find out more about the stories about the mm-hmm. people that are here. Um, our intent was never to come to you and say, well, we're going to help you with your haunted house. Yeah. Because quite honestly, we don't live here. So we can say, well, your house is haunted. See you later. And we're gone. <laughs> yeah. Um, but one of the things I will say about Linville, and I'm sure I can speak for any of the groups that have come here, uh, be it Kindred Spirits, some of the local groups of Maryland, ourselves, Linville Manor never disappoints. No. And Neither does <clears throat> Linville Manor's host. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Because you get extra coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but I will, because t- I will tell you this, I want to come back to something you said earlier in this investigation about how the spirits here connect with us as individuals and how they connect with us as, um, as people, not just as investigators, but as people. So this clip, I rediscovered this. And I don't know if either of you remember this, but this is a clip that I think speaks volumes about people like Gladys and and the other spirits here at Linville. Yeah, I remember the setup. Alright, I am I'm not gonna wear the necktie just yet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and get This is after I'm, oh, 
How do you feel? No. How do you feel? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I <laughs> you know what you're talking about. I, wow, that's freaky. That is interesting. Right off the bat. Right off the bat. The week before the public event, Pip lost her mother. Mm. And we're there just setting up and then and out of the blue, that, yeah. how do you feel? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I got a little emotional. I'm yeah. just like, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Linville Manor. It mm -hmm. was just, it was, a, I mean, and, and it goes right back to what you were talking about. There, there is a real personal, and I do feel because of the love that you bring into the house, uh, the way you take care of it, the way you try to improve it, I really think it reflects back on the spirits. But here's my question then to you about that. Do you think all the spirits are this benevolent or have you had some issues in the past? Yeah, I, re I think that, like you said, the spirits know who comes to the house and especially it's the return groups because yeah. three weeks ago, um, Airbnb guest to start with who was interested in paranormal and has done a lot of investigations she got married here. Oh, cool. And so nice. the way she worked it out is like her closest friends stayed in the house a few nights before they did some, you know, conversations and investigating and then they had the wedding and then they had their like party afterwards. But with that group too, the spirits know them. And when they go into those conversations, they're like, it's not like anywhere else we come here and they're very personable and they seem yeah. like they'd rather us talk about what's what's new in their right, lives, right, right. you know, about the wedding coming up, about other things versus, you know, it's not all about the ghosts. Right. Like the right. ghosts are there, but they're pretty considerate. <laughs> so I think that that's what you get is like you get this open door. I think that they're very happy to see this house transformed because yeah. for so long it was just like, a closed door policy that if you lived here, that's great. Otherwise, the neighbors didn't even get invited in. Yeah. And it's just, it's not like that anymore. It literally was at one time. Yeah. And depending on the lighting, the creepy house on the hill. Yeah. House on Haunted Hill. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that, any minute now, Vincent Price is going to be walking through yeah. here. And then it's like, we really have seen a ghost uh, now. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, and, look at the time. <laughs> right. But it's still, it, like, it has its moments, whether it's with guests. And, you know, sometimes groups will even sort of out people within their group because they're like, well, we brought wow. them. They're not a non believer. So we think it's affecting something. Mm -hmm. or And you're like, oh, well, I don't know. But, like, I don't know. Sometimes if people bring stuff into the house, that's yeah. like not a good situation that the spirits pick up on that. Right, right very right. possible. I mean, I I would think it feels like a nice, they've got a good dynamic, the spirits in this house, they kind of understand the various boundaries that they might have be between one another. Mm -hmm. And it's totally conceivable for people to have someone tag along that might not be part of the group. And it could make for an awkward energy or a downright unsettled mm -hmm. that this piece does not fit into this puzzle. So what's going on here? One of the things though about Linville Manor is the minute you walk in, they're like, okay, it's on. Because again, these two clips come from the setup of mm -hmm. our public event. The spirits of, the spirits of Linville said, no, we're, we'll kick it off. So we're watching the clip. We're watching a clip of, of something that happened here. <laughs> how how meta is that? That is meta. That is meta AF. <laughs> I mean, when when I heard that, I was like, "Wait a minute! That's not the clip. That's from the that's from <laughs> yeah. the other room." <laughs> yeah. There's a room that I am absolutely drawn to every time I come here. It's that billiards room. Yeah. But I saw the creepy doll you put in there today. You got to get that puppy out. So that doll <laughs> was a gift from the one who just got married. It she was like, not a gift. I, she I can, said, I've I'm had not this. a gift. She said, I wanted to come. And I mean, it's dress matches the curtains yeah, in here. So. Okay, yeah. fine. Just find any other So room. it has a vibe? Not, not, the, billiard, not the billiard room. Not, really? that, that's my room. Yeah, I love feel like the doll had a vibe. Or, or, I, feel, or it's just I just saw it from the distance and I was like, oh, hell no. It normally, <laughs> it normally is in here, but we had a photo shoot for Airbnb. And so uh, I was like, fair okay, enough. I should probably move the doll. I don't <laughs> just, so just, I took it up there. I, I would never ask anything of you. But I would ask you to burn that doll yeah. as soon as possible. Did you, did you 
Just get a vibe. I, I just, I, it's creepy dolls and, and clowns. It's That's where I draw the line. It's in a That's container. I, I don't, don't, so is Annabelle, okay? I'm just going <laughs> to leave it at that. So, but that room, I have always I'm, been, I'm thinking of ideas for our next overnight. I'm that doll I'm might punch, end up. I'm going to punch you. Just but that me. room, I have always, and even my mom, my mom loved the, 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 the ceiling mm -hmm. and just everything about that room. It's a gorgeous room. I love the billiard room. And you're like, yeah, nothing really happens in here. I remember you saying, nothing really happens in here. Please mm -hmm. to watch the next clip. Okay. I think it's from downstairs to music box, but, um, hey, what's Dad's, uh, Spells, um, music box thing called again? It's just, uh, it's just a music box with a, with a sensor on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did it go off? Yeah. Everyone want to come in here yes. and find a, find a place on the, find a place on the, on the, on the comfy sofa. Yeah. So that's me, yeah. right? Just want to establish that. Ooh, that wasn't me. Uh, so, not to interrupt you, T. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you noticed that tripod in there was my camera I had in there all night. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And there were times where the room was empty. Mm -hmm. and, and I decided not to send it to you because I had so many clips. <laughs> but I caught several breaths when the space was empty that sounded just like that. Mm. I said, I've sent him too much already. And there's no one in the shot, so it looks kind of boring. Did it sound like this? I want to ask it one more time. I heard it beep red again. It just kept going red, 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 no, no. And being the wide-eyed, brand new paranormal investigator with my buddy Phil, we went back at night. We were there for 15 minutes. It felt like I'd been there 45. I had never felt fear like that. Okay. So I would I would put it to you. I do think there is something in there. Maybe you haven't encountered it yet. Maybe you haven't had enough guests comment on it. But my favorite room in this house, there's something vibing in there. Yeah. Something vibing pretty hard. I, I would believe you because that's actually, it's a original part of the house. The original yeah. part is the square. So, you know, mm -hmm. the, the wing with the conservatory and the study built on. The other wing with the apartment built on, but that is original. Mm -hmm. It was probably one of the original bedrooms. So someone was in there for elongated time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll also say, like, you know, people have recorded lots of breaths and things in that area, but you don't get a lot of the, like, bigger stories because, one, it's not one of the larger gathering spaces. Yeah. And, two, because right now there's only a Murphy bed in there. So, like on the obscure chance that somebody needs that extra bed is the only time someone actually spends the night in that room. I see. Makes sense. Now, it lots of people report if they're in the study or the conservatory hearing someone sort of pacing around in that area, but no one no one dares go out to see what it is. So, uh, <laughs> that may be your room. Next time you're yeah. here, you yeah, need to stay in you the would. room. Oh, yeah. absolutely. No, with absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Well, you cozy Not with the doll. <laughs> Not with the doll. I saw what you tried to do there. Not with the doll. I'm drawing the line of the doll and the clown. Not we're just, we're, no, it's not happening. It's not happening. Next gift, clown doll. The last two clips, the only way I can describe them are truly paranormal. And mm. I know everybody has a different definition of what is paranormal. And if you look at the textbook, if you look at the, you know, you, you look it up in the dictionary or something like that, it basically just says something that cannot be explained by science, something that cannot be explained by conventional means. And these last two clips, I think, really define that. And I wanted to share them with you tonight. This one is in the parlor. And this is something that we have been talking about ever since it happened. And sadly, Phil has never seen this because he and Tina were in the kitchen preparing uh, cupcakes for everybody. Yeah. And this is how it looks on this camera. What are you? That's amazing. Do you think oh, Gladys were... was extra? Like she would be uh... yeah. I think she would be able to do oh, okay. yeah. Is Gladys extra? I bet she was. What is she? Proper. <laughs> 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 proper. Extra in a proper way. Yeah. Like, properly extra. In a very, in a very... In a 50s oh, way. And I gotta say, when I don't know if those were out there when we were here last time, but those backyard torches, torch lights you yeah. got? Mm -hmm. uh, they, were, nice touch. they were there, but I don't oh, know. What, what was that? that? What was that? That's a red pot. That was a bright light. That was like really bright. 
what? That, that light here. Is there a light up there? Did I yeah, I looked up. I thought they were. Oh, maybe one of the lights. I thought that was a corner of my eye. I heard something. Was it in the phone? No. Why is it in the phone? I thought it was on the phone. I heard the REM pod. What is it? Where's the Did the REM pod go off? Yes, I have my camera pointed in this corner. All right. So I'm just going to say what I love about that moment is the shift in energy just in the group. Oh, yeah. Everyone's yeah. having a little chatting yeah. about, and, are and, you extra? You know, and Piper's the here. Right. She's on the phone. Conversation stops. Yeah. Kate's there. Yeah. Everything Resumes, just comes to very a hesitant. Stop. And then everyone's blah, blah, blah. And, you, you it know. Was, it was crazy. Wild. Crazy. Pain. Now, here's the thing. As far as you can see, nothing happened on the video apart from our reaction. There, there's more to this clip. Oh. Pip and I last night tried to recreate the conditions mm -hmm. just to see what would happen. So I used the strobe light flash mm -hmm. that's on that's on my phone. So I've got I've got this IR light, which Same is what we're IR using. Light. Okay, so here we go. All right, one, two, three. Mm -mm. So that is the phone. One, yeah. two, three. What I find so fascinating and what makes that part, that first part of the clip so paranormal is that we all saw it. It, it. Unless it was a group hallucination, we all saw it. We all reacted to it. We all described it as a flash. But in the clip, the REM pod never goes off. And it wasn't a yeah. flash from a phone because I just did it there. Yeah. But we saw something in our visual spectrum yeah. that the IR did not pick up, it wasn't a strobe, we have no clue what this is. Right, and I'll say for those who were not here, who didn't hear us being very ecstatic whenever you came <laughs> back into the room, but it, it literally looked like a light bulb blew or like there was a flash, like a front yeah. photo. Yeah. You know, we have we have a road that comes around the house, but even like it's not like a headlight passed through. It right. was just this immediate like light in the room. It was a strobe. Yeah. It was a, a, a gone. flash. Yeah, and it lit the entire room. I could see the patterns in the walls. Yeah. I remember it. We wow. all just it looked up. It was like, that right. I, I thought you know one of our younger investigators had just taken a picture all of a sudden, but they yeah. were they were literally down on their phones. Yeah. There yeah. was no yeah. like, there was nothing. Nothing was caught and. I'm like, so what? So what kind of light source is not caught that you can visibly yeah. see? And and Pip has actually sent the clip to uh, to her dad, who is an electrical engineer, just to say, hey, is there anything that? And she even did some more research and said that there are some people who are susceptible to light beyond the visible spectrum. And I'm like, okay, that's great, but. This was a room full of random people right. at different ages, mm -hmm. different different genders. It just defies explanation. The K two agrees. Uh, so the the uh, the person that we're uh, about to put into the Estes method, her name is Natalie. Uh, she she and I had a quick exchange on Instagram, and she really enjoyed the event. I wanted to make sure that was, and we we talked a little bit about this particular clip. She actually volunteered to go under to the Estes method, which I was pretty excited about because, oh, cool, we get to bring one of the guests in. Yeah, someone it. outside our group, which yeah, is yeah. interesting. Yeah. But listen very carefully to the audio, particularly coming from the spirit box. Hi. Good evening. Is there anything you would like to tell us right now? Would you like to tell us your name? Lots of high pips squeaking. Okay, tap around. Yeah. Actually, yeah, let me let me stop there. So that high pitch squeaking, yeah. I don't know where that's coming from. It's like a bat. It, it is. So it's, a, it's a real high pitch squeaking. I can hear it from here. I know. Yeah. The first time I heard that was at Crescent SCI. That's right. And, uh, that's right. What is later year is it for you? It's later in the night. No, no, this is this is later on, and she she goes back. Were you her mother again. here? Here. Did you give birth in this house?
But there's other stuff happening in there, too. I'm just, if we offended you, we're sorry. Weird. Did your baby die here? Those were the only two responses she got on that spirit box yeah, session. Yeah, that's strange. And that high-pitched yeah. squeal, when you're in really good company, because the only other place that's ever happened has been at the second scariest spot that Phil's ever taken me to. <laughs> wow. um, it was at this place called Crescent SCI, which was a TB ward turned mental asylum turned in the wisdom of the 1980s medium security prison <laughs> where the prisoners and the mental patients could all mingle together. Uh, if something's, if something's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. You're feeling it. Right. What is that? It's coming from here. And I had literally, I, had to, I literally ripped their headphones off. I'm surprised she didn't. I'm surprised mm. Natalie did. Yeah. But what was wild about that was that when I mentioned, "Did you give birth here?" Boom! It kicked back in yeah. hard, and everybody just got really tense in the room. And yeah. I said, "When I said I'm sorry, it went away." Right. And I don't know. I and to this date, that has never happened again. Yeah. When this is the portion of our show where we reveal to people whether they are humped it or not, but you live with us every day. You've had kindred spirits here. You know, you the mega haunted. haunted. That was adorable. <laughs> that was. <laughs> <laughs> so stinking cute. <laughs> Way to ruin the spontaneity. I, anyway. I think I enhanced it. <laughs> yeah, okay, well. <laughs> this is just a really special place. We've been to a lot of different places in the last several years and just the energy is very unique in this space there is this uh, warmth even with some of the prickly spirits you occasionally encounter does not really seem to dampen just that warmth and it seems of very much of a of an intersection between our our physical lives, our daily reality, and then that's something beyond. It's almost like a, a meeting point mm -hmm. where those two play, those two energies can kind of coexist in a very comfortable way. And I feel like being in tune with that here opens up the possibility for so many incredible experiences. I think when I was going through all of the footage, it, I mean, the, the memories just kept coming back. But the one that really just kind of cemented itself, and I think that was the, is the ultimate sum up of how I feel about Linville Manor, is when we were getting ready for the public event, and through Ghost Tube, someone here asked my wife a week after her mom had passed, how do you feel? And this place, I feel, is, it's the emotional side of the paranormal. And I'm sure there are plenty of ghost bros out there that will be losing their minds going, what does that mean? It means that it doesn't, it doesn't, it, you know, we're not all ripping off our shirts going, Damon! It's, 
it, this is a very personal thing. You might do that if I like lay the doll on top of you while you're sleeping. <laughs> I would, I would beat you with that doll. That's what would happen. That's true. That's true. Um, the um, th- this place is is very emotional. It's very personal, and and I I am I'm not ready. I don't think even now I am not ready for that kind of relationship. But at the same time, I'm open to it. Mm. And that's that's what keeps me coming back here. It's like, okay, what are you going to show me today? Mm-hmm. What are you going to do today? And and it just, you know, we've gotten to know you, and we we we, we don't feel like you're you're somebody we work with. You're you're a mate. You know, right. you're 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 a friend. You're as you said by now, you guys are family. Yeah. yeah. And I don't just mean this family. I'm talking about the family that's all oh, yeah. around us. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I feel like Gladys walks in and goes, "Oh, look, <laughs> Phil's here," and he brought. <laughs> all righty. I get it, Gladys. <laughs> <laughs> you live with this every day, though, Lynn. I mean, what is what is your take on on your life's journey that brought you here? Yeah. Well, I'll just say that I really appreciate your sentiments and thoughts and your feelings, and I think that they're dead on. Yeah. No. 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 But really, um, <laughs> I that, that deserves a quick toast. That deserves a quick okay. toast. Uh, right there. Right there. I'm right there. Right there. Right there. I'm running low. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But I'll say that I feel that this house really creates this community and connection to energy. And I think that that's what's special here is because Mm -hmm. the more we find out, the more we interact, I think people are bringing more of that like positive Mm -hmm. intention Mm -hmm. and positive energy. And it's starting to congregate here. And then people, you know, people who have never been here before, they walk into that and they sense like, oh, something is here, something unseen, something un- un- not understood. Yeah. But then they either embrace it or it embraces them. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But people have come and just said like, I feel like I've always known this place. I feel like I've always visited. I feel like I'm home. And Hopefully not in that Overlook Hotel right. shining they sort of way. Really, <laughs> no, no, but it, it is just sort of, yeah, break it out. <laughs> My wife is shaking her head. <laughs> But it's, I want to it's, say that's the first time that's happened today. It's not. But it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's this, Are you kidding? My wife wears a neck brace all the time. What are you talking about? <laughs> you need to work harder, my friend. <laughs> oh, I see. I'm like, is, is she okay? Yeah. Yeah. I get it now. All right. But it's this. It's this growing community, and and it's really just. It's an enjoyable experience. The idea was this was going to be an open space for creativity, collaboration, excitement, and parties and events. Mm. And then that energy was was identified, and then it just grew, and that's it continues to expand and just bring people into mm-hmm. it. So that's kind of the amazing thing here. Yeah, you're sitting here seriously. Chase and I will be sitting here on a regular night watching Survivor because somehow <laughs> a year ago we were like, "Wow, we haven't watched Survivor in 15 years," and now we've watched 15 or 20 years <laughs> of Survivor a year later. <laughs> but like, you're just sitting here, and then it's just like. He'll see something like move in the mirror or else like there's this big mist that comes in or one of the uh, items for the fireplace will start sort of swaying and we're like, okay, you know, but it's not like I'm terrified. It's just an acknowledgement like, yeah, you know, you missed it. They just did another tribal vote. You got to sit down and catch up. (laughs) You know, if they're here among us, I liken it to the ghost show too because I feel like if you're keeping that that open dialogue communication and you're trying to learn about them... Mm -hmm. And they're learning about you. It, it just is comfortable. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And if you think about it in a way, too, this is the last thing that I'll say, more of a general comment. We have to acknowledge that some of the energies, some of these spirits out there just in general have intelligence that are are not just an echo of a former soul, but are an actual soul. Not as and intelligent as Gladys, though. This is she, she is the You're most... You're trying to dig yourself out of the hole. I really am. I really am. But I think She's by, the most intelligent soul we have yet to encounter, I will say. They're all intelligent. But by interacting... But not as much as Gladys. She's, you always go to Gladys for the last I can't word. pick favorites. You this can't. Is not- <laughs> I can't. So what I was saying... <laughs> so just, just by interacting in, in that natural way, in that way of acknowledging... They're present. You are seen. You are part of part of this. Has to give some sense of life for them, and I would imagine that's going to feel 
pretty good. Mm-hmm. And speaking of communication, uh, you have just enough for a toast I to the do. ghost. I do. And I do. so, would you do the honors win sure. and lead us in yes, the toast to the ghost? Do. I will say, toast to the ghost started by Old Man Ben, who is the oldest family descendant of the Bowies of the original house, said, mm-hmm. you should start doing these toasts to the ghosts. And I said, great, I will. So, you know, two Ben's great advice. We do this. And I say, a toast to those of Linville, past, present, and future. May we all reside here with community, love, and good spirit. Cheers. Cheers. Chin chin. Chin chin. Pip, did you just say something over there? What? You didn't say cheers? Bren, did you say cheers? I heard a voice. Huh? I, I sounded I like that a too. voice that sounded like an old lady going, cheers. A toast to those of Linville, past, present, and future. May we all reside here with community, love, and good spirit. Cheers. cheers. Chin chin. Chin chin. I heard. That wasn't me. Yeah. Was no, that wasn't you? I'm going to. Uh, Were you like grunts? You hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Very clear voice. I'm just going to mark it. I'm going to mark it <laughs> just in case. That was very clear. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was not a creak. It was a voice. It was a voice. I thought they were just talking to yeah. themselves. Yeah, or I thought you saw I, something on the on the ghost to them and you go, ooh. I, 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 I did lean in to look at but them. No, no, it was a voice. It was 100% a voice. Very interesting. Thanks, as always, everyone, for checking out Old Spirits. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to the Old Spirits YouTube channel. And while you're there, make sure to enable notifications so you know whenever we are dropping content. And for our unseen guests, you saw all these great gadgets over here. We are proud to announce that we are official affiliates of Ghost Stop. So if you want any of the cool gear that you see us using here at Linville Manor or at the Candy Factory or in Gettysburg, Go on ahead, go into the show description, take a look for the affiliate link, click on that, and start your shopping spree today. Again, thank you so much for watching Old Spirits. From all of us here at OSI, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the field.